Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Today I figured I would show off a few more pieces from one of my favorite companies to buy clothes online from, which is Lulu's. Now I do have a few other haul videos from Lulu's specifically, so I will link to those down in the description box below if you're interested in seeing anything else. I've purchased the bridesmaids dresses for my wedding from there. I've also purchased loads of other stuff for all kinds of different occasions, including a bunch of items to wear while I was traveling for my wedding. I would definitely check it out if you're interested. Now, the great thing about Lulu's is they have a lot of very trendy clothing that is still very good quality. So unlike something like a Forever 21 where Yes, you're getting something for like $9, but it falls apart after one wash or it's very itchy and rough to wear. At Lulu's, you can find the same thing. It will probably be $20, which is still not unreasonable in my opinion, but it's something that will last you forever. So I really appreciate that. I don't like to buy a lot of clothing that just falls apart after one wash. I find that very frustrating. So all of my pieces from Lulu's have lasted me years and I've never had a problem with the quality. Now one thing we always have to mention before we get into the video, with Lulu's the prices on the website are in US dollars. So I live in Canada, I do have to pay for all of the items in US dollars so you do get charged the equivalent of what that would be in Canadian by your credit card company and then all credit card companies also charge like a little extra fee so if the conversion rate is like a dollar twenty for every US dollar you do get charged a little bit of extra on top of that, so it does make it more pricey. Just something to keep in mind while you're browsing. You do also have to pay duties to get this clothes into Canada, um, and it can be very expensive, I'm not going to lie to you. So I would recommend that if you really do love something from Lulu's, wait, see if there are a couple of other things that you also want so that you, you're only paying the shipping and the duties once when it's coming in versus buying things in a lot of smaller shipments. Now, as we get into the actual clothes part of the video, please note that I am five foot one, so I'm very petite. I wear a size small or medium in bottoms somewhere between a US 4 to 6 and I always wear a size small in like tops, dresses, jumpsuits, any of those kinds of things. Now for the purposes of this video so that you guys can go find something on the Lulu's website if you really like it, I will be using an overlay at the bottom of the screen to let you know what the item is called that I'm trying on and also what size and price I paid for it. Lulu's is very easy to search so you can literally just copy and paste the names right off of the video into the search bar and you'll be able to find any of these items that you like. Now, without any further ado, let's get into it. So this is the first item I have, and it's just this very cute bodysuit. So as you can probably see, it is sheer in front of this lace in the front, and I am not wearing a bra, and I don't think you would need to with something like this. It is definitely thick enough that you're not gonna have to worry about your nipples showing. You're not gonna have to worry about it being see-through or anything. And it's also closed enough, in my opinion, that you're not gonna have to worry about your boob like popping out unless you have a very, very large or very small chest. But for me, I wear usually around like a 34C in most bras or a 32C, just depending on the band and I find that this is perfect. Now I've just paired it with a pair of American Eagle mom jeans and I think it's really cute for kind of like an understated going out look if you were to pair it with some black pumps, a like cute interesting handbag, I think this would be adorable. Now one thing I've noticed with all of the bodysuits I've ever purchased from Lulu's, they are pretty high cut. Now, part of the reason why is because I only buy thong style bodysuits. I've talked about this in previous videos, but I really do not like seeing a lot of like really big underwear lines, which obviously having the thong style bottom completely eliminates that, but it does mean they're usually higher cut on the leg so that they can be thong style. But as you can see, it is very, very high. Like it definitely comes up above my hip bone and if you have a very long torso I would say this bodysuit is probably not for you. Now I have a very short torso and it's definitely not tight on me by any means but if I were too much taller I could see it being a lot tighter and a lot more of an issue. 
So just note that like with how high it comes, you wouldn't be able to wear this with a pair of low rise pants or even probably mid rise without seeing a little bit of skin peeking out over the top. If you're into that look, great. If not, you'd probably want to stick with high waisted pants. Now the bottom enclosure of this bodysuit is double snaps. So you would be able to like open it up if you needed to go to the bathroom while you were out, no big deal. I usually honestly just pull it to the side because this material would be stretchy enough to allow that. And then you don't have to worry about the awkward, like if you've had a drink or two, trying to snap it back up. But all in all, I really, really love this bodysuit. I think it's cute. I think it's very on trend and I can definitely see myself wearing this, especially out, like I said, for a couple of drinks with friends. I think something like this, it's sexy, but it's still very fun and very comfy. All right, now for something a little bit different. I haven't even taken the tags off of this yet because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it, but this is just a bodycon, dark gray, kind of ribbed dress. Now, when I saw this online, my envisionment of it was that I would wear it to work, uh, probably with some sort of long cardigan or even like a little trench coat or something and with a pair of heels, maybe even a pair of fancy flats. And I do really like it, but I just find it a little bit plain. It is nice though. I like the mock neck. I do think that's cute. Although I do also think it should maybe be slightly higher, not quite into turtleneck territory, but it is a little bit low for my taste right now. I do like the material on this. It's not super clingy, so you wouldn't have to worry about it like sticking to you and riding up all day. And I think the length is very good on me for something that I would wear to work. It's basically right above my knees, so a very work appropriate length. I also do like the color. I think the dark gray just makes it a little bit more interesting than wearing just a straight black bodycon all the time. But I do think that because it's such a thick material, it's more of like a sweater dress material than anything. It does sit a little bit weird sometimes, like it has a tendency to kind of bunch a little bit, but obviously because it's bodycon, it does make your butt look very nice. So that's always a plus. The one thing I always worry about with wearing bodycons to work is once you eat a big lunch, which I ate a bunch of donuts for breakfast today, uh, don't at me. And so I'm feeling a tiny bit bloated and I feel like you would be able to see that in a dress like this. Now, once again, nobody cares about that but you, but if it's something that you're going to be kind of worried about and thinking about all day at work and like trying to cover your belly, this might not be the best option, but I do have another dress that might be perfect for that. This dress will not be everyone's style, but I think that something like this is absolutely adorable and is basically a wardrobe essential. So this is basically just a nice t-shirt dress. It has a little bit of extra length at the back, which is much appreciated because as everybody else with a bigger behind can attest, ones that look this long from the front, but then look super short in the back because your butt is kind of pushing them out are not very flattering. It's not a great look. But this is so cute. It's very comfy and flowy. You definitely wouldn't have the problem that I was talking about in the last dress where you feel like your stomach is kind of like sticking out at all if you just eat a huge lunch. And I think something like this, imagine you're on a beach or you're walking down a beach boardwalk. You've got your big floppy hat, oversized sunglasses, a nice big beach bag, a cute pair of sandals. I think that this could make for an adorable understated outfit. Also on the complete opposite end, take this, a nice denim jacket with a little pair of white sneakers, and then you've got like a super cool casual outfit as well. I just think that there are so many things you can do with this if you can envision all of the different outfit possibilities. And I really, really enjoy it and appreciate it. Now it does have a cute little pocket up at the top. This is a v-neck obviously, and then there is a rounded hem at the bottom, which is longer at the back. And this material is basically think of your softest, most comfy t-shirt, and then it became overgrown into a dress. That's exactly what it is. It's super soft. The stitching is done really well. I have no complaints. 
It wasn't super expensive and I think it's something that I'll get a lot of wear out of. So I really like it. This is yet another attempt at getting a jumpsuit that is cute and flattering on me. I will put the picture here of what the model looks like in this. Now, obviously, I know I'm not gonna look the same. I'm way shorter, like probably half a foot or more shorter than this model. I am a lot like bigger in the hip area. I've got pretty big hips, I've got bigger boobs. So I know it's not gonna look the same, but I am pleasantly surprised for the first time ever with how this looks. So some background on why I bought this jumpsuit in particular. I had been seeing the picture over and over again and this is advertised as like a comfy, relaxed jumpsuit that you would just like throw on. Say you're going on an airplane and you just need something comfy for like a couple hour flight or you're going on a road trip and like that's literally the name of the jumpsuit is like um, an on the road jumpsuit. and. Something about that just spoke to me about having something very simple that's one piece of clothing you throw on and you kind of have a ready to go outfit right away and I decided to give it a shot. And I will say I'm pleasantly surprised now. There are some things that still don't work for me because I'm so short. One is the crotch is just like slightly too low and because this is all black I do apologize if it's kind of hard to see like the different like kind of what I'm pointing out in terms of something fitting a bit weird. So I guess let's start at the top. The top fits well. This is an elasticized band that kind of goes around your most narrow part of your waist. That's lovely. Gives you some definition. I enjoy that. I think it's great. Now the top is basically just like a relaxed uh, t-shirt basically. The sleeves are great. They're not going to be like digging into your armpits or anything. The back has just like a little keyhole opening and a clasp. And that clasp is the only thing that you undo to like get this jumpsuit on and off. This is incredibly stretchy. Super, super stretchy, has a lot of give. Um, obviously this part is elasticized, so it is very, very stretchy. This material, I'm not sure what it is. It is very thick. It almost feels like the softest, most comfy towel you would ever have. Like it's kind of hard to explain. It's almost like a velvet, but not quite all the way there. Or like a very soft pair of corduroys, but like not full corduroy. Like it's super hard to explain. I will have to look up what this is actually made of and see because it's unlike any material I've ever felt which could just be the blend. It does have pockets, which is lovely. It also has this little belt to tie around, which I think that it's cute. I like the belt, but I don't like how wide these little strings for securing the belt and making sure it stays there are. Because I have a very, very defined waist, like I come in quite a lot here, having these little strings, I almost always cut them off because it's not like I'm very straight, so this is gonna be shifting down all the time. Because I'm so much narrower here than even an inch below that, it can't really go down even if I don't have it through there. So if you're similar to me in that you have a very small waist compared to your hips, I would recommend just getting rid of these because they tend to look a little bit tacky. They don't look super professional or nice in your clothing, so I always just cut them off. So like I said, there's good large pockets now the part that looks a little weird on me is the crotch, <laughs> as always with these things. So it just comes down probably like three inches too low. So, and I can kind of pull it up and bunch it underneath here if I wanted to. That definitely makes it look a little bit better, but should I have to do that? Not really. At some point we need to make a jumpsuit for short people. If you know of one, let me know. I would love to review it. The butt looks really good. I think it's cute. It's very soft. And then the bottoms are cuffed. So you can actually pull them up higher if you want it to be more of kind of like a grungy, like cool look. Or if you wanted them all the way down at the bottom for more of just like a 
I woke up in this, rolled out of bed, and like, I'm just very comfy right now look, you could do that as well. And all in all, I actually think that this jumpsuit is really nice. I think it is very comfy. I can see myself wearing it. We're going uh, to Florida in April. I'll probably wear this while we're traveling and just see how it uh, fares. Now, like I said, the crotch does very much throw me off because it is so low. I almost wonder if I should try and get it tailored and just see if I can basically make this my custom built jumpsuit because it is so comfy and I do think that it's cute. It's just a shame that it doesn't fit me that little bit better. Now this sweater, I have had this in my Lulu's wish list for years <laughs> and I've always been very interested in it but it was $52 US, I couldn't justify it but I actually had a coupon code so I decided to splurge and just get it. So it is just a super oversized gray and white sweater but I thought from the moment I saw this that it would be super cool with a pair of mom jeans like this and just kind of as like a very big nice oversized sweater for the winter months. Once again I always default to like a pair of really cool heels and then with this particular outfit I would love like a long hanging kind of like shoulder bag and I think that it's super cute. It's very comfy. It's not like a super super soft like fake material sweater like a lot of the ones that I have don't get me wrong I love them but like they're very soft but they're also not made to last this is an absolute thick like monster of a knit sweater it looks absolutely beautiful you can tell by the stitching that like this was made very well and it's very heavy high quality knit which is not the case for a lot of things that you order online especially cheaper things so this is something that's going to last me a really long time and I'm very excited about it. As you can see, the length is very long. Like I said, I'm only five foot one, so a lot of things are very long on me. So if you're looking for something that's like oversized, that's cool and you can wear with like leggings or with your favorite jeans, or even like kind of tuck into a pair of dress pants for like an oversized sweater look at work, this is perfect for that and I think that you just really can't go wrong. All right, so this little mustard yellow top is actually the very last thing I have for you guys today and I got it for obvious reasons. Um, I've seen this on Lulu's a couple of times. The dog mama little embroidery I just think is very cute and I just picture taking lots of Instagrams of me and my dog with like the cute little dog mom shirt and it is absolutely so soft. Like the reviews for this really won me over. Everybody was just saying how it's the softest, comfiest shirt and like yes, the little thing is cute and like that's funny, but it's still just like a great quality t-shirt that you can wear around the house or wear for really anything. Like you're never gonna go wrong. And I do love this yellow color. I was actually afraid that I would be too pale for something so yellow but I actually think that it looks very flattering and I like it a lot. Now that's everything that I have for today. I would love if you guys would let me know what your favorite piece was and what your least favorite piece was. Now I know a lot of people who watch these videos are jumpsuit haters. I've seen your comments in the past, I hear you. I know that a lot of girls who are short like me, like we just never look quite as good in a jumpsuit as our taller friends do but it is what it is. My personal favorite things have to be that bodysuit and then also this gray striped sweater, which I know is just such like a regular thing, but having like a really nice high quality sweater like that is something that I love. Like I live for oversized sweaters and leggings. It's like one of my most worn outfits. With all that being said, I guess I would just like to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I love making these videos for you guys. If you did enjoy this and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button found down below. Also be sure to hit the bell notification button. I put out new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye!